BPA in thermal paper. What is it? Hello, thanks for taking the time to view the first of a two-part series on BPA and point-of-sale products. It's brought to you by the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency in conjunction with a grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. We're asking businesses that participate in this pioneering project to provide some baseline data on the volume of BPA used in current point-of-sale systems, and in turn, the program will provide resources and support the move to BPA-free paperless point-of-sale products. So, what is BPA? BPA stands for bisphenol A, and it's an industrial chemical compound that's been used to make plastics and epoxy resins since the 1960s. Over 8 billion pounds of BPA is produced a year, and it's used in containers that store food and beverages, such as water bottles, baby bottles, and canned goods. BPA is very heat and chemical resistant. In receipts, it's used to coat paper that allows for inkless printing in point-of-sale products. Why is BPA a chemical of concern? BPA has the potential to be a human endocrine disruptor. This process mimics our natural hormone systems and can cause numerous long-term health problems. Endocrine disruptors have also been tied to harmful environmental effects to our lakes, rivers, and streams. In 2012, the Food and Drug Administration banned BPA from baby bottles and sippy cups nationally. At this point, many states, including Minnesota, California, and New York, have worked to remove BPA from products. On January 3, 2013, Suffolk County in New York was the first county in the Union to ban the use of BPA in thermal receipt paper. How is BPA found in receipts? BPA is released from paper coating during inkless printing, and we are then exposed to it by handling paper receipts that use BPA. While the rate of absorption through the skin and rate of transfer to others is not completely known, BPA has been shown to have the chemical characteristics to potentially move through our skin to enter the bloodstream directly or become ingested. Recent studies have found that individual thermal receipts we receive daily can contain high levels of BPA, 250 to 1,000 times greater than the amount of BPA found in canned goods. Overall, it's unclear how much BPA-coated receipts contribute to our total exposure to this potentially harmful chemical. Presently, there are no chemically safe alternatives to inkless printing processes that provide cost-effective solutions for paper receipts. What is clear is that this program has found many proven options for businesses that want to eliminate BPA-laden receipts and provide paperless options. So, what are the next steps? As the first part in a two-part series, we are asking businesses that are willing to participate to contact their project managers about their intent to move to a paperless point-of-sale system, share data about their current receipt paper use, and commit to sharing their paperless POS experience and results with the MPCA. The second webinar will be an overview of paperless point-of-sale products available and connect participants with product resources to go paperless. The MPCA will be providing some financial assistance to businesses to go to paperless POS products and, where necessary, will provide BPA paper testing coordinated through the Minnesota Department of Health. Participation will provide a proactive way to respond to a growing wave of concern over product exposure to employees, customers, and our environment. Thank you for your participation and please stay tuned for the next webinar, Paperless Point-of-Sale Products for Minnesota Businesses.